So I know a lot of you guys are really curious about how this C63 compares to other cars that I've owned. Now, one thing that's extraordinarily uh, you know, clear is how good this car is as, a, as an ordinary car. So now I said that about the E92 and E90 M3, but due to their DCT gearbox, but this automatic gearbox it's not quirky like DCT could be at slow speeds when it's warming up um, because this is a, a traditional automatic gearbox. It's seven speeds um, and it's a regular automatic gearbox. So if you could see by the gauges, I have it in C, which is comfort mode. You have two other modes, which is S, so that's also known as sport, which just revs out the gears a little bit longer um, and gives you more aggressive gear changes um in terms of downshifting and then you have m which is manual so while the car warms up i always keep it in c because comfort mode will give you the highest gear possible all the time um you know because you don't want to rev a cold engine while the m's parade themselves and advertise themselves as the better sports cars this c63 by far has better seats like it's not even it's not even close the bolsters on these seats are among the best that i've ever experienced um and really any kind of cornering these bolsters keep you in your place it, it really it comes out to almost uh you know almost your parallel with your rib cage you know the the sort of the mid shaft of your ribs to be more specific um so as a regular everyday car, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. And that's part of the reason why I opted for this car because, you know, when I get finished with my preclinical years of medical school, I'll then be commuting back and forth to a hospital every day. And it's probably gonna be in an urban environment and you want something that's a really good daily driver, which whether you like it or not, the M5 and the M6 with SMG were just not. There, there's, oops. There's really no way to sugarcoat that. So keep in mind, this is the volume, even with a secondary cat delete. There is a, is quite a significant amount of, of sound deadening. Um, but the thing is, is it, you know, when you have the resonators and mufflers still in place, it could dampen the sound quite a bit. Now the thing is, is once you get on it, it gets significantly louder. But since we're still cold, this is just your modest, normal everyday on-ramp acceleration and you know it seamlessly shifts through the gears in comfort mode and that's really part of the reason why I love this car because it's really really good at being a regular car now in terms of passing power you just have all of it Now, in terms of dynamic driving, this car is just brilliant. Now, it doesn't have the limited slip differential, but it does have, you know, P30 suspension bits, nice brakes.
in terms of simple handling, I mean, this isn't really at the limit at all. Uh, this is sort of moderate driving. Um, the steering is just fantastic. It's absolutely on par with the M. It's third year. The biggest thing for me with this car is learning how to drive it differently than an M. So I've been used to M's since I got my license. Now, since this car has so much torque, you don't have to always downshift. 